Hey all, Ryan here from Planet J Lapidary, and today I have a special video. I haven't done any fossils in muriatic acid in a while, <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I have these three chain corals. You're not going to actually see me find these for a little while yet, but I couldn't wait. So here we go. Uh, so this first one, I'm hoping that this is the right matrix. It does seem a little hard, so I don't know, but it'll get it cleaned off anyways, at least all Everything that can get cleaned out of it will. This one, same deal. It's right on the borderline, I think. So hopefully it does get cleaned out. If it does, this thing's going to be amazing. And then this one I was sent from the Eastern Shore of Lake Michigan um, from one of my viewers. This one, I don't think the matrix is going to come out, but I'm going to put it in there anyways just to get it cleaned off. Um, and we'll see what happens. So let's get out in the garage and we'll get set up. Okay, so I'm all set up. So what I have over here is I have muriatic acid. I have about maybe 60, 40 muriatic acid to water this time. I want it to go a little slower. Um, and then I have a bucket of clean water here and then baking soda for after because it neutralizes the acid. So I have this little basket. Um, as long as you have all plastic going into the acid it won't melt away so i have this little basket with holes in it so then this way you don't get any splash so it is a little heavy but i'll just show you what it does and hopefully we see some sizzle right away but i just gently lay it in there and then hopefully let me get my glove off here and we can zoom in Hopefully we can see some bubbles. Oh yeah, I see some bubbles working already, so that's a good sign. So now I'm gonna leave them in here. I'm gonna check them tonight, probably before I go to bed, and then I'll check them tomorrow and see where we're at. But it's pretty easy. You just gotta make sure not to splash this stuff around on anything, get it on your skin. But we'll uh, check these things in a little bit, see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna check these things. It's just a couple hours later and you can see in there already that that stuff's melting off. I'm gonna, I might have to watch these things a little closer than, uh, closer than I thought. Ooh, yeah, they're, they are turning out for sure. Actually, all of them are. So we'll see if they stay together. That's gonna be the thing is letting them go long enough to have enough to keep them together. So we'll keep checking them, but you can see that, uh, this matrix is all burning out, so they're going to turn out really good if, they, if they're if they not super fragile. Okay, so these things have been in for about 24 hours. There are very little to no bubbles left coming out, so I'm going to take them out. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to my clean water, and I'm going to take a bunch of baking soda, you know, like that much, sprinkle it in here, and then mix it around really good so it gets kind of distributed throughout the water that should be good i'm gonna throw my glove on and then what i'm gonna do is just pull the basket out of that one let it drain for just a second and then set it in this one really slow and you'll be able to heal, hear the acid getting neutralized i'm gonna try not to give you guys too much of a peek because these things i think turned out really really good so I'm just letting it drain for a second. Trying to go back and forth a little bit to get as much liquid out as possible. And I'm just gonna transfer it over. Oop, go really slow. And then that'll <clears throat> start to neutralize that acid in there with the baking soda. So I can show you this on this side, what it'll actually do. Cause now what I'll do, so I'll just pour a little bit in. And there you can see it's neutralizing the acid. So basically what I'll do is I'll neutralize all the acid in this bucket, um, get it cleaned out and get clean water in it, and then put more baking soda in it, and then transfer this over one more time to try to get all of this dark water out of there. Um, and sometimes I do it two or three times, but we'll see how many times it takes this time. But let's get this neutralized and get this bucket cleaned out. Okay, so we were all done. We got them all washed up and I figured I would show you guys what I do with these things after I do this. So here's the two big ones. 
I'll just go all the way around through the acrylic just so you can see how nice these little acrylic boxes that I get are. This thing turned out really, really good. And then this one is just another crazy kind of white filled in one. A little more crumbly on that one. Then I put a raw one in there and then another one that I had put in acid a while ago. So I, the substrate I use here is from uh, Wisconsin Moonstone in Wausau. I actually classify the dirt all the way down to this size of um, substrate so that I can actually use it for this. And then here is that other one. I'm gonna take the cap off for this one. So this one turned out really, really good too. I like that one right there that kind of looks like a tree right on the end but it kept like a matrix ball right in the middle of it. And then the whole thing around it just melted away. So it turned out really, really good. So that one will probably stay just like that. And then these will probably stay just like this too. A nice display for my collection or maybe somebody else's. But yeah, a really cool thing to do with muriatic acid. Um, I got lucky this time, I went three for three, you know, with that matrix melting out of there, but sometimes they just don't, you know, like maybe if I put that one in there, the matrix wouldn't melt out. So just like this one too, this one was just super solid, but all the tiny, tiny little bits melted out, but I think it turned out really good. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, learned something new. All right. If you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.